Last year, uh, we had Joey Urquhart, our gun bass electric organiser, said, that's it, I'm having more kids, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> this is one of the men who stepped up to, uh, to fill the gap. Adrian Wilson, thanks for helping out this year and thanks oh, for keeping it going. Mate, thanks very much. You know, um, I'd hate to see the series crumble yeah. um, and, you know, Westy and I have both put our hands up and said, we'll, you know, we'll give it a crack. Mate, I'm actually enjoying it. I, I thought I'd be nervous, yep. um, but no, it's... It's good. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it, and yeah, I, I hope to see it continue next year. Well, that's what we like to do at ABT. We, of course, by the time we run the Barra, the Brim, the Bass Pro Series, we don't have time to do the electric, so if anglers don't step up and do it, then it doesn't happen. So you are the reason it's happening. Oh, yeah. My, and, like, um, you know, for years I've always wanted the one per dedicated person to run the whole series. Then it's, you know, everybody's sort of like, no, who's who to talk to? Um, and it's under control, you know, a lot better control. That's great. Um, the event we have coming up in the BKK Bass Electric Series is the HINS event. It's yes. happening on the 11th of July. Yep. And if anyone knows anything about bass fishing, you'll know that this guy is a bit of a gun on HINS. I think you're a bit of a HINS junkie, is that right? Uh, well, mate, before Y Arlon came online, uh, HINS was my home dam. And, you know, any rainy day that I had on work, off work and stuff like that, I'd be straight down that's there. Because right. yeah. you pour concrete as you know I do. Five. Yeah, I no do. No concrete pouring equals fishing. It, mate, that's it. That's it. It doesn't take much rain to... Um, Scare me oh, off. Oh, yeah, that's it. That cloud <laughs> yeah, in the sky. There's a cloud in the sky. Barometer's high. Go yep. on. Go fishy. The barometer doesn't even have to be high, mate. As long as it's raining, <laughs> I'll be there. So um, so we have got later in this segment some hens tips coming. If you want to know about how to catch fish in hens, all secret baits here. But before that, let's talk about the... Um, the Bass Electric Series to date, we've had a few events um, as far as uh, Lostock down in the south um, and a few South East Queensland events. How's it been going? The numbers seem to have been down a little bit. They, yeah, they are for some reason. I'm, I'm asking the guys, you know, what, what you know, I, I just, I want to get a feel for it. Um, but Lostock, I think a lot of the Queensland guys are too scared to travel that far. Yep. It is a big drive, especially for a one-day event. It's yep. a massive drive. Yep. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get down there to run it. Uh, Flinny had to take it over for me, and he'd yep. done a pretty good job for it, of it, which was cool. Um, but, yeah, it just... I was expecting Maroon to, you know, maybe 40 guys. Yep. I'm not sure if it's the pre-entry or not. It's... COVID, COVID rules make it, it must be a pre-entry. Yep. We need to be yep. able to contact trace and all that sort of stuff. So it could be that, and it also could be that Joey was just a... Uh, oh, he's a lovable guy, mate. He's a lovable guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's out there. He he's is. always pushing he is, it. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, the, the deal is 11th of July, um, Hins Dam. If you haven't fished a Bass Electric event before and you want to give it a crack, your first Bass Electric event, we don't make you pay membership. You can come along and give it a try. Yeah. You can fish it with your kids, your wife, whoever you like, you know, by yourself if you like, um, just so long as you pay your entry fee pre-enter. Uh, and you do that by going to abt.org.au. And on the morning check-in, guys have a little bit of a briefing, and yep. then it is you and all of those giant bass down at Hins doing battle. For sure, for sure. And that was the good thing. On the info sheet for Hins, uh, the photo that you've got up of that, Tom Reynolds and his young fellow mate, Lockley, Lachlan, yeah, yeah, yeah. mate, and that epitomises what the electrics are about. Fish with your son, fish with your daughter, fish with your mate. Yep. You can fish with whoever you want, and you, know, you just have a ball on the day. The good thing about COVID, the only good thing ever about COVID is it made the qualification for the grand final very easy. If you fished any Bass Electric event in 2020 or 2021, you can get an invite to the Bass Electric grand final. Why do you want to go to the grand final? A couple of reasons. One, it's at Lenthal's Dam. Now, Lenthal's is a pretty cool bass fishery, but it's got a couple of barras in there as yeah, well. And you go in there, and the, the time of year, the barra sort of, ooh, it's starting to get warm. Yep, and start yep. eating. So there will be a bit of bycatch in Lenthal's. But secondly... The prize for the grand final at Lenthal's is awesome. It's uh, a little bluefin uh, P-series uh, little punt ready to go for bass electric fishing. That includes a motor guide electric motor, some green marine lithium batteries. Uh, it's on a trailer. It is just dead set ready to go. So it's an awesome prize. You oh, can win it by mate. fishing one event and then win in a grand final. Yeah, yeah. Mate, it doesn't get any better than that or easier than that. It does get better because you get a T-shirt as well. You get one of the, <laughs> yeah, the ABT well, shirts. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you, and, of course, last year we couldn't run any grand finals. We sold all the last year's shirts like that. They yep. just win in a couple of weeks. They're all gone. So we're just about to order the new shirts for the grand finals. And uh, if you want to go and be involved in a grand final, I think the Bass Electric grand final is the lowest pressure and the easiest to get into. Oh, my, and it's such a relaxed atmosphere. Like, you know, I, I'm trying to get all the boys to camp at Lenthal's 
you know, and we, we take pack out the um, actual camping area. Yep. So there's no people coming in. Um, and, you know, it might be easier to charge your batteries yeah, exactly. that way. <laughs> um, so there's a reason to fish it. We've got the bar pretty low this year. We might raise it a little bit next year when, when COVID is in the rearview mirror. But at the moment, great opportunity to win some great prizes. Now, I want to talk to you about some hens techniques. Um, winter in hens, the bass are starting to bulk up a little bit. They're pretty mean size in there at the moment, and they did left a fair few trees standing when they lifted the river oh, level in there. They yeah. can be brutal, can't they? They can be, mate. And, you know, it doesn't get much better of a place to fish. Like you got, like you say, you've got the timber, you've got deep water, you've got big fish. It's just, it's an awesome mixture. Now, you've got four baits that you brought in for us here. I want you to go through each bait one by one and tell us what situation you would fish it down there at Hins uh, and, and how to use it. And let's start off with this one because I, I, I throw this one a bit myself. I like this fella. This is the Storm Biscay Shad and they make two versions of this. One is with an exposed hook, which is good for fishing open water. But that, uh, that hidden hook model, Mate, I know where you're going to throw that. Yeah, <laughs> straight in the timber, heavy line. And I, I actually got a couple of fish on it on the weekend, just bumping the branches on the way out and then it's just crunch. So talk about heavy line and let's talk about the technique. What sort of line and leader are you throwing? I'm on? using 20 pound main line, 20 pound leader. So not mucking around, it's like no, grab jack. and a heavy yeah. rod. And, and do you throw it all the way to the bank? Or do you throw it parallel to the timber? What depth do you see? I would, I would probably sit uh, five metres off the edge of the timber and just pick my little lanes and just cast into each of those lanes. Maybe a couple of casts in if it does look fishy um, and just, just slow roll it out and just bump that timber on the way out. And you've got it. I think, uh, the further you throw in and the nastier it gets, the more chance you've got to get nailed. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. You can kiss it goodbye. Good, we like that. Now, uh, let's go to something a little bit more traditional. To me, this looks like the old uh, baby bass slider chopped down and it's on a uh, five, is that a five, five eight, eight ounce? Yep, Damn five eight. Jig head. Yep. That is pretty much standard bass food everywhere in Australia. Oh, for sure. Um, at the moment, like the fish that are sitting just outside the edge of the timber, instead of having to go in deep, you can obviously downsize your line class to six or 10 pound with same size leaders. Uh, just car cast parallel to the timber and just slow roll it back, again, crunch. Yep, and that's, uh, again, where those timber lines end, it's, pre it's a pretty diff different it is thing, because yeah. the old dam level, it was cleared to Exactly, the yep. So it's only the new water, yep. which has got timber in it, so you can sort of throw parallel with confidence that it's not gonna be a snag field down there. For sure, for sure. Awesome, and that's a, uh, and I noticed both of these, you dip the tail. I what do. What do you dip it in, and do you reckon it makes a difference? It, I dip it in, um, spike it, obviously, chartreuse. Yep. Um, it's just a confidence thing. It's just always a confidence thing with me. I will sometimes put scent on them too, uh, just to give it a bit more flavour, yep. uh, especially the slider because they have no scent um, yep. out of the packet. So the more scent and the more I can disguise my own scent, hopefully the more chance I've got got of getting a fish. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the heavy metal stuff. And this is a very you know you can't feel the weight of this, but this is lighter than you'd expect. This Molex yep. Lover Spoon. Yep. Um, Obviously, it flutters a little bit on the way it down. It does. It has tell an us, awesome flutter on the way down. Tell us how you fish it. Uh, again, fishing it parallel to the timber, um, or if you can find the fish off the timber on uh, deeper points, just cast it out and just count it down, depending on the depth of water you're fishing in. If I'm fishing in 40 foot of water and I can see the fish down on the bottom, I'll let it go all the way to the bottom, give it half a dozen cranks, free spool it. it, yep. it at this time of the year, the fish are sitting sort of like in that 10 to 20 foot deep in anywhere up to, I've found fish in 180 foot of water yep. in that depth. But they'll just suspend in that They'll just depth. suspend in yep. that depth. Um, more so with that one, it's probably, I haven't been throwing a real lot because I've been more concentrating on the plastics. For me, hens has always been a plastics bite through winter. That's more of a spring, summertime deal yep. for me. Yep. And what's the action like? It seems like it's going to have a run. Oh, you can, you can see when you've cast it out, you can see your line just go tight and then slack and then oh, tight. Really? So it's a, it's yeah. a broad. Yeah, it's thing. a very big flutter. And then all of a sudden it'll just rip out. Those uh, little assist hooks, are they factory or not? No, they're, they're an add-on. Um, factory hook, uh, back hook, yep. treble. Uh, I have had a few guys ask me, do I change them? No, I don't. No. Just the big unit yeah, straight on yeah, there. Yeah. And, and I'm sure that is designed to balance so it gets Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. The they do come with a um, 
a W hook on the back there, but I take it off. Yep. There is a little magnet that sticks on the back uh, there to yep. try and hold it in place. Yep. But it's not really worth no, these anything. things get, get in it. For sure. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. That's cool. I, uh, that's the first time I've seen someone tell me that this is one of their confidence baits. Yeah. So, and I, you know, guys like you, I know Mick Horn used to throw these a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it looks like a big fish bait. What's the biggest fish you caught on that? Oh, probably 52 fork. Yep. Solid. And, and when they, when they crunch it, they just, yeah, it's gone. Awesome. Let's talk about this one. This is like, I'm gonna, if I'm going to go down to northern New South Wales, spin up a few <clears> Taylor. That's what I'm going to chuck off the wall at Brunswick. Yeah. Um, tell us about this fella. Uh, that's a 40 gram Rizan. It's one of Westie's lures. Um, yep. And man, that thing has caught me a lot of fish down the hens. Again, another sort of like spring, summertime yep. deal for me. I have been throwing it down there a little bit lately, uh, but it, it just hasn't been working as well as what the plastics have. Now this one here, it's got a couple of assist hooks there. I don't know if you can see, but they are one's gone, one's broken, and one's straight. Is that yeah. timber or is that fish? No, that's that's probably fish. The treble, there's a treble down the bottom there. That's it, half it's bent. It's had a there hard too. life as yeah. well. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Westy loves me for buying those things. He just, yeah, I ring him up and buy ten at a time. Um, and the action on the drop of this is it? Is it a more? Of it's a it, it, yeah, no, it's. It will flatter, but not to the extent, obviously, of, yeah. as that bigger one. Because um, this is, feels like it's twice oh, the weight. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep. Again, that to me is a, a deep water uh, lure, like, you know, cast it out 40 foot. Westy and I, I think in the summer of 2019-20, um, we went down to the Hens and we got 112 fish for the day. Crikey. Which is, uh, yeah, on, on, on those. Yep. And that's my favourite colour, the gold. Well, there you go. If you're uh, if you're looking for some techniques to try at Hins, there is for from the absolute gun himself. You don't you don't mind if all the people catch as many as you do, do you? Oh, not at all, not at all, mate. I just want to get people involved in the electrics, you know, and that's what it is for me. It's my whole basically fishing career has been about the electrics. I do fifty odd Bass Pro as a non boater yep. but yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good group of guys that most definitely, and, you, and you'll make all the newcomers feel welcome. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure, anybody. Now. Last event we're going to talk about, we had to postpone this event last year. Anyone who was there remembers we had to cancel it at the briefing when, oh, the, when, yeah. the, when the fire bombers needed to use the lake to scoop up water. The Wyarra Long Hummingbird Bass Electric Australian Open, it's on this year, definitely. Cool. Going to be, no, it's going to, not going to be a bushfire season this year. No. COVID and bushfires are mutually exclusive. We're having a wet winter. Let's um let's talk about it. It's wire along. It's one of your locals. Yes. And uh, you said it's been fishing all right this winter. Yeah, I've actually, yeah, I've been getting out there a little bit lately. Um, and I'm finding some fish, and it's been fishing pretty good. Wire along. Uh, it, we've this is the prize from last year. We've we've saved it. We're going to give it away this year. This is Hummingbird Helix Nine, but Hummingbird, of course, have just released their uh, their Hummingbird Mega Live imaging, which will be interesting. I'm, we're going to try and get one of the units down to see if we can get a. a an early unit to, yep. to show the people down there on the water and maybe make some content. But Hummingbird look have been a great supporter of ABT. They sponsored the very first Bass and Broom series that we ever had 21 years ago, um, and they're back now doing some bits and pieces with us. So uh, that Bass Electric Australian Open, it's a $250 entry, $250, I think. $250, yep. 100% payback. So uh, all of the money that goes into the, the entry prize pool, all of that gets given back to the anglers, and we pay one in five. So if I have 25 anglers fish, Five anglers get uh, a check, and the top one is normally two or three grand. So well, yeah, Jake Shrin took home that grand, uh, that check for three grand man. for for an electric event. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Because your petrol That bill is awesome. Is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so keep an eye on that. The uh, the electric event. Actually, this is the twenty twenty calendar. That's not very good for us. Um, Second and third of October, October the producer yep. tells me. Yep. Yep. So it's a two-day event down there. Um, it's down near Bow Desert. Um, if you can get there and want to give it a crack, again, this is a, a five-fish limit one. Five fish, yeah. And it's fish by yourself. That's one where you don't fish with a young fella. No. Bring your boat down. You can leave your uh, combustion motor on the back of your boat. If you want to bring down your bass boat and just go on your trolley motor, that's fine, as long as you don't start that combustion motor. You are all sweet to go. Adrian, thanks for grabbing the helm of the uh, BKK Bass Electric Series this year and coming back in and giving away the secrets. Before the event. Ah, oh, all good, mate. mate anybody, anything to help, you know, people out. You know, I just, I just want to get numbers there. There you go. Who shares wins?